speaker. Okay. So welcome everybody. It's Canva 101 training with Julie Hayes, your presidential founder and national executive. I'm coming to you from Philadelphia. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a lot of sharing on my screen tonight. Uh, Canva is a great program for graphics. And um, again, I'm just gonna kind of give you, um, I try to think of several different examples of some things that we wanna do. And um, again, you can you feel free to use the chat window, feel free to unmute yourself and ask a question. If you do have background noise, I just ask that if you can type your question or take care of the noise before you unmute so we have a nice clean recording because not everyone can get on here live. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bottom here and share my screen with you guys. Hopefully I don't have like, I have like 8 million windows open, but that's all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, yeah, slide this over so I can see where my camp is. Okay, so um, let's just go here. So Canva is a program that, um, you know, canva.com, it's a free program. You can pay, of course, for some premium things, but you can create all sorts of designs and graphics. So I will say um, I do have a graphics background um, from my marketing um, work that I do. But um, I do think it's really user friendly and it's, it's not so, you know, it's easy to kind of play around with. And, um, you know, once I'm going to show you a couple of different things, starting fresh and then starting um, just making a copy of something and, you know, kind of editing it a little bit and then um, changing the size of something, things like that. So I thought I'd do like um, a, a Typically what I try to do is, so if I'm going to do like every month for my group, I have to do like my welcome. So I'm just gonna go to a social media post, okay? So I'm just, again, there's all different, if you, let me just go back home. So if you go create design, you'll see all across your social media presentation, that's like if you're doing slides, Facebook cover, Facebook post, Instagram. So there's all these different types of designs across the top that you can choose from. Can you close my door, please? And there's all these different designs that you can um, choose from across the top. So I'm just going to go to social media right here, or you can go to Facebook post either way. So um, I'm just going to start here, and I want to do a um, a welcome email. So I'm just going to see if there's any sort of, you know, any sort of. Okay, so here's just this is like a. Let's just start with this. We're just going to start with this, even though this isn't super, we're, March isn't super purple and pinky and whatever. So let's, uh, let's go back and see if we find like a different one. So I'm just going to go to general social media because I usually like to use an image. And um, so I'm just going to pick, I'm just going to go ahead and pick this one. Okay. So this is just going to be my base starting point for my graphic, okay? This has nothing to do with welcoming my things for, for um, spring, but I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you um, how we create this. So um, what I typically do is I'll go to um, just, and I'm gonna just close this out again. Oh, sorry, let's try to, there's so many windows open. So normally what I do is, I'm gonna slide this off, go to my images and I just like go to like March, I find some different graphics that I like and pull from different images so I have some good background images. And then I save them to my computer. So let's go back to, okay, so here we are back here. So um, what I'm gonna do now, so this is just the basic template here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab some of those images that I saved earlier. So these are pictures that I've saved. So you'll see I saved some photos for my February graphics. You can see some of the ones that I used here for my February graphic. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image and I've saved them to my computer already. So I'm gonna to go to my March file and you'll see that, okay, I'm gonna do this one. Cause again, you kind of wanna do, you know, maybe grab a couple different images that you wanna use. And um, you know, because you're not like publishing anything like this, it's not, you know, some of these things that you pull from Google, they may be copyrighted, so just be aware of that depending on how you're gonna use it. Um, I think in a closed group, throwing some you know, graphics over a shamrock, you're okay. <laughs> um, and again, I'm gonna just grab a couple of the different images and show you a few things that I can do. So, um, so all, all you can see is I'm just hitting upload here, 
and I'm hitting upload the image. So I've got these images saved to my computer. I'm gonna grab a few nail ones too, okay, that I saved over there. And so all I'm doing again is hitting upload image. And now I have, a, you know, sort of like a gallery of images to work with. So <clears throat> because I wanna do my welcome to March or, you know, my team welcome. So I'm just gonna slide this image over and bam, look at that. It just replaces place that photography woman there, okay? So this is gonna be my welcome. Okay, so I am going to um, see how if I click on the text, I kind of grab it, it becomes that little like X box. So if I kind of just go here it's, and it turns into a line if I'm clicking into the actual box to kind of type some stuff, okay? But if I, if I click and it makes that sort of X mark, I can slide that image around, okay? So that's sliding that around. So I have this graphic box. You can see here, up here, it says Salima is the text. So you have different font faces. I can change the different fonts there. Um, I can change the color of the font, okay? And um, so you, when you click on the whole box like that, it's gonna show you, um, like I can change it to uppercase, lowercase. I can change the spacing of it. Sorry, you're not gonna be able to see that. Let me slide this down. Okay. Can you guys kind of see what I'm doing here? So the spacing, you can make the letters wider apart. You can make the, the, the lines further apart, okay? Um, you can make it into bullets. I can, I can um, if the font is boldable, see if you see it, you can't click on the bolder italics, italics here. That means that font doesn't give you that option. So certain fonts, fonts will allow you to do that. Um, that one's already an extra bold one. So it just kind of depends on, on what you're looking at. If you want to get rid of the text, go ahead and just, you know, click on it. You're, you're clicking on it again to make that little square X thing, and then you're just going to hit delete, and that gets rid of that, that text box. If I want to move this image around, I can, you can see I double clicked on the image, so now I can, if I want to slide it over, but I think I kind of like it off to the side a little bit because I want to show that snow and I want to have plenty of background room that is where I can put my text in over here. Okay, so I'm going to be done with that. So that's looking good. So what I'm going to do is probably move this text. I'm grabbing this up here. So now look at this text. Like this text is together. So it's got the big text and the little text together. And you can see this. I don't know if you can see, but there's a faint little line here. And you can see up here it says ungroup. So what it means is that it put the big title together with the little title underneath as one group. So if I move it right now, like you just saw me before, I'm going to try to get on it. So if I if I move on it now, sorry, I'm trying to get the it it moves together, right? You see that? But if I ungroup it, it's only going to move part of it. Okay. So that's I, I just if you group something it's gonna to move together. If you ungroup something, it's not gonna do that, okay? So I'm going to say, welcome, Oops. welcome. Okay, so then if I grab this bar over here, I can just slide it around there. It's looking like it's right justified right now, but I can click on this. You know, it just made it right justified. If I click on that, it's left justified. If I click on that, it's centered. So it's the, you know, when you click on this bar, it changes the justification of it, okay? Are you guys able to see this okay? Just give me a nod or a thumbs up. You can see what I'm doing, okay? All right. Um, so here, in, and this is, I don't even think I need to change the color because it shows up okay. And then um, I always do a little phrase with, um, with my welcome. And the white actually is showing up okay on the crystals. So I always say, no matter where the journey and now you can see i'm like you know getting stressed by typing in front of you guys takes you enjoy okay so that's just sort of like my little phrase so that looks a little small to me and again this is all just sort of you know and again i've got it you know that little square xbox i'm going to click on here it says 14.9, I'm gonna bump it up to 18. And that looks pretty good. 
that's not too bad. So again, I'm just sliding that little end bar over to make the text together. And I think I'm going to write justify that again. So there I go, write justify that. So that's looking pretty good to me. Um, I always like to have my logo though. So I'm going to go back to my little gallery because I definitely have my logo in here. So I'm just going to scroll down to find my little logo here. Do, do, do. All right, I guess I didn't realize how many I had in here. Okay, so I'm gonna, I just click on my logo and here it flies in here. Okay, so now it's, it's over the flowers. So I'm gonna just take it and kind of squeeze it down a little bit. I just drag that corner and see how it's changing. It's, it's still keeping the perspective. It's just sliding it down a little bit. And then I will slide it down, kind of tuck it in there. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me just see how, see it's pretty dark, a little too dark to, to put on the dark background. So I'm gonna keep it over here and um, kind of just tuck it in there with that flower. So, so I kind of like that. So, um, so I think I'm, I think I'm done. I'm gonna check this out. And um, the only thing here is I can see, like if I look up here, and this is just my eye. So I've got the exclamation point, so it looks like I have an extra um, space in here. So I'm just gonna take that extra, oops, extra space out. And maybe it doesn't have an extra space. Maybe it's just my eye. Okay. So. Now it says, it still says National Camera Day, because that was like the, remember that I started with that one graphic that had the girl holding the camera, so that was just what it was called. So I want to name this so I know, and this is going to be my March. So look, I already got my March welcome done. I'm going to be so excited. March welcome, so, okay. And then, so I've titled it now. I'm going to hit File, Save, okay. So now it's saved, March welcome. It says all changes saved up here, up here in the corner. And then I need to download it to save it to my computer. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit download. And let me slide this away because I have to slide you guys out of my way. So file type is um, a PNG file, um, JPEG. So those are both image files. So again, if you wanna load this for social media, that's great. PDF, if you need to like um, print something, or you want it in more of like a document format rather than something you're gonna post as a graphic, um, you can do it as a PDF. PDF print is gonna um, make it like if you need to go and print something. So um, I will talk about that at the end because you can actually go directly to print. Um, I did my holiday cards with Canva this year. It was really cheap and I just um, it just gave me the option of um, the, the print option and I just was like pretty, pretty cool. So with the PNG, you have the opportunity to do a transparent background. Um, so for instance, like my logo right here has a transparent background. Um, you can see over here in my gallery, there's a logo with a white background. So sometimes depending on how you're using the logo you want or how you're using your graphic, you want it to have a clear background or you want it to show the full colors and everything. So that's just the difference between if you click that, that, um, that thing, that little um, box to, to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and download. Um, I usually just do a JPEG, um, but you can, you, you, know, you can do anything. I'm just gonna download it. Okay, so it just is gonna come down. It always gives you some sort of motivational quote, which I always kind of like. And there I have it. So I'm gonna open that. Oops. So there is my little graphic. So I can see it there. You know, you can't see all the little things with my font. Um, this looks a little light. So I might wanna bold that text or make it a little bit bigger. So um, again, I always like to look at it in this format before I go ahead and, and absolutely save it. So I'm gonna close out of that. I'm gonna go back to our Canva window, just X out of here. And I'm going to go back to the document and see if I can um, bold this. I think it just actually got a little bit bigger. So I'm going to bold it. It gives me that option. And then, um, 
So some of it's just kind of playing around with as you get used to it. There, that bowl's in it. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm gonna slide this down just to see if you can see the little tagline. I'm not that worried about my tagline showing. I think that's okay. I think the white text now shows up a little bit more. So I'm gonna resave it. And then I'm gonna download again. And again, I can save it as a PNG, a JPEG or whatever. But you just definitely wanna do it as, a, as some sort of image file. So I'll download that. And then you'll just open it and you wanna save it to you want to save it to your computer. So I'm going to right click on it. It's going to say save as, and I'm going to go to March and I'm going to save it in my March file. So it's all ready for me there. Okay. So that's one way of using it. Okay. So then I'm going to go back to home and I'm going to show you how then once you create a design, you can go ahead and change it up. Okay. So, um, let me just see. So I did. Oh, okay. So um, what was I gonna do? Oh, okay. So again, say you wanted to do an um, an invitation for someone. Say like you have a new stylist. They wanted to host a party. So I'm in the design studio. I'm gonna click on over here. And I'm going to look for, you know, you have all these different options across the top. So here is an invitation. Okay. So you can look for all the different types of invitations. Um, and maybe I'm going to do like celebrate and just look for those. Okay. So again, you know, you kind of look and see what catches your eye. You can kind of go from there and, and figure out your design. So I'm going to go back to home there because I already I already saved one and um, I'm going to show you again how you can resize the different items and and go from there. So here is a congrats because again that's something as a stylist um, we like to shout out our teammates who are doing great things and you know we want to be fantabulous right so we always want to shout out so this is a design this is something that came directly from Canva. I did not create this. This was just one of their kind of preset things. So um, I saved it and it's, it's seven by five, okay? So I'm like, okay, well I could print something like that seven by five or I can resize it. Um, and I, I believe, um, I, do, I do actually pay, um, for Canva because I do use it for work also. Um, so I think some of this may be auto, um, and, and I apologize, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if the basic package, but the basic package I think you can just do, um, you're just gonna go to resize and then you're gonna go to custom dimensions and you can just type in whatever size you want it to be. So if I wanted to make it um, three by five, oh, sorry, this is pixels. So that's, that's, a, that's another thing too. So I'm gonna do it in inches. Okay, so that's gonna make it happy because I don't know. Okay, so I can just resize it, okay? So if I wanted to keep the original one, I can just change the dimensions, I'll resize it. So it just changed that, to, that format, okay? So if I wanna resize again, custom dimensions. I'm going to go back to five by seven. And there it is. So I actually, um, so let's just say I want to keep it like this because I think I want it to do seven by five. Okay, so close enough. Okay, so we're back to, back to where we are, but mainly what I wanted to show you here and sorry, I have to slide you guys around again so I can see what I'm doing. So if I wanted to zoom, you can um, go big screen there. And if I wanted to zoom it down, I can make it um, a different percentage here if I want, depending on how, how big I wanted to see it on the screen. Sometimes if I'm doing things big and you can, you know, you can see the different percentages and things like that, okay? So, that again is just kind of showing you the different resize, the different things you want to, to see. Um, 
again, if you wanted, if you like this design, then you can also like, let's say we wanted to put it in color street colors. So the background color is pink. So I kind of um, put in again from the, um, from the graphics uh, guidelines and stuff, the different sort of color street colors. So I'm going to use like the color street pink. So I'm gonna, it's going to change everything in the background to pink, okay? And then if I click on some of these other things, it's going to show me those other colors. So I'm going to, instead of black, I want to choose like our really dark blue. So I'm going to, everything that's there does dark blue. This yellow, I'm going to change to our color street yellow. This blue, sorry, this blue. I want to change to our color street blue. So again, it's not making major changes, but you're just kind of wanting, you know, you're just kind of changing and it's just, you want to click on what your, what your, what item you're on and it's going to change, you know, the colors for you. So congratulations on your, let's just say something. I know there's a stylist who's close to a $1 million team. So let's put together a little time it's time to party we are so proud of you okay so this is just something fun that you can do um, again you'll see that i basically didn't do anything like that's like if you see something that you like kind of like the design and all you do is want to change the colors and change the text a little bit that's really simple and easy um, so that's one, you know, that's one way of doing things. So again, just, you know, changing it a little bit and, and, and mixing it up. So I want to go to this one. So this is an invitation. Again, I, um, so say you wanted to do an invitation for someone. And again, these are just, these are just designs that I saw. I like, I saved, um, into like my little gallery. And you'll see here though that this one, I, I picked this one because see how this has like the little grid and it says Canva on it. So if you wanted to use these pictures, because if you, um, cause sometimes if you wanna do one of the, um, you can also do like elements here if you wanted to put in, so free photos, here are free photos you could use. Um, if you wanted to see all the free photos that they already have loaded in here, you could always, you know, load one of those. Those are free. Um, and then there's other photos that you may see. So see how it says a dollar, a dollar, a dollar. So those are the ones that aren't going to be free. And, um, but there's plenty that you can find that are free that are nice, or you can just download some or, you know, use whatever. So that's where I went to, you know, you can upload your own, but they do have free ones that you can use. Um, I can upload my own. So this is an invitation. So because these are ones you'd have to purchase through Canva, I don't want to do that. So let's just say I'm going to slide this one in over here and look, I just replaced that with a little pretty nail key and I'm going to slide this one over here and, um, but see how, okay. So see how it's kind of cropped. So it's behind this text box and you can't really see the pretty part of the nails and, you know, do we want to include the word? So what I'm going to do is, um, you know, I just slid it over and it kind of drops into that spot, but I'm going to double click on this. And see how that you can see like this light background here. That's the actual photo. So it's dropped into like the little photo window. So I can slide it around if I want to just kind of, I don't think I'm going to be able to crop out the whole, all the words or anything, but I can slide it around to see like it's, I can't make it wider than it is because it's, you know, it's kind of in that photo box. Um, but let's see if it's going to let me. I can see how I kind of pulled, let me make this a little smaller so we can, okay. So I can pull it over if I want to try to crop off that made in Milan part and then slide it down a little bit. So I'm showing like the prettiest part of the nails. 
and you can still kind of see the white frame just slightly behind so you can kind of see where you're working in but if I want to kind of trim up that maiden Milan part let's just see how that looks and then um, again I'll just click off of it I'm going to click done and we'll see so that that actually looks pretty pretty good what I think I'm going to need to do is maybe slide that down a little smaller and that way there so that looks pretty good so I'm going to do this I'm going to slide this over slightly so I get more of the nail in so part of it's just a little bit of trial and error I'm going to slide this up a little bit so it doesn't look like she's like missing a finger but there okay so that's pretty good so I didn't I didn't lose that much you're just getting to see the effect you're seeing these nails I could actually make this one a little bit bigger if I wanted to and again it's clicking on clicking on the thing and then you're going to grab a corner and just kind of slide it around again so it's going to fill it's going to fill that little image box a little bit better and then I'll hit done okay so again some of this is being blocked by this other box so again what I might do is okay so this see how when I pull on the corner it all comes together because this is grouped so if I wanted to kind of you know resize this box a little bit I have to ungroup it because it's just seeing it all as one item and that's how I can just drag the one corner it takes it all at once so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup it okay and now watch that this little box sorry a little white and sometimes there we go see how to click around a couple different times to get on it but now that it's the white you know the white dots are all here you know that I'm clicked on this box so if I wanted to make this box a little bit bigger I could do it or if I wanted to make it a little off center maybe I want to bring it over down here a little bit and that's where I'm going to have my text box now because that's not going to interfere and then because I um, ungroup the stuff now I have to pull these things down separately so so have a sweet party um, come for cupcakes and color street something like that so we're having a sweet party they're coming for cupcakes and color street um, you know, please RSVP by the 28th, you know, 555, okay? So again, looking at that, this is pretty tiny. So again, you can click on this. It's only 10 points, so I'm gonna to click to 12 point. You can see that gets a little bit bigger. Um, this is a cute color, good kind of goes okay, but actually, you know what, do we want to make it a color street color? Let's maybe do that. Let's just see um, if we, how does it look in the blue? That's kind of pretty, or maybe we want to do the purple. Uh, that's a little much pink. Um, so I kind of like the blue, that, that actually didn't look that bad, or we can go back to that baby pink. So again, you can just click, and if you want to do, um, if you want to look at different colors, you can click on this plus. And then you can see all different colors. So maybe you like that pink, but maybe you like a little bit like, ooh, I like that kind of dusty, dusty. It's a little bit bolder. So I kind of just slid it along here and just kind of I see it change and going through here. So I'm gonna kind of go back to this is sort of like the color I just painted in my bathroom. And so that's that new color now. So now when I click on here, the new darker color is there in my in my little paint room now so I'm going to click on that and it's going to make it a little darker and I'm going to change the text color that that color too because it's going to make it a little easier to read and I needed to grab all the text so I'm not sure why Canva can be a little finicky sometimes so just just be patient with it sometimes you know you're trying to grab a certain window and it's just not like working very well so, and again, let's bring this up a little bit bigger because one people want to be able to see. And then if I wanted to group the um, things back together again so I can move them all together, all I need to do is um, click on 
this. So again, I've got that X positioning. I'm going to hold my shift key down. I'm going to click on this, and then I'm going to click on this. And I just held the shift key down while I clicked on the three different separate text box. Okay, so see how there's one big box around those separate text boxes? And now I'm going to go up here and hit group. Okay, so now when I move that text box, it goes all together. Okay. And I could have grouped the, the white box around it together too. All right, so that's just a simple, you know, simple invitation. Okay, so that's again how you, we changed colors, we added different pictures. And we just started from a sample template that we liked. So again, let's let's save, let's save that. We don't have to download that. Um, and then um, I'll show you again just how we can edit something that's already there. Okay. So let's just say um, let's go to my color sheet file. Okay. So this is a um, Perfect example. So let's just say, um, okay, so I have to do my celebrate uh, um, March now. Okay, so I, 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 every month I do a March welcome and a March celebrate, you know, your road to success. So I'm just going to take my November one, I'm going to edit this. So again, taking a design you've already done. And I'm going to rename it. So I'm going to do a file, make a copy of it because I still want my November one because maybe I'll reuse that again this November. So let's make a copy of it. Oh, and here it is. Here's, sorry, this is what I mean. That magic resize over here, that magic resize is just available if you're paying um, the extra fee. But you can still see if I can go under resize, I can still resize things. Um, that's but it's just that magic resize. That's that's just specific to the paid feature. Um, but Canva, you can do so much stuff for free. So um, I'm going to make a copy of this. And so this says copy celebrate November. So I'm just going to click on here. I'm going to rename it, and I'm going to rename it celebrate March. And I'm going to do 2019 because we have you know. So again, um, let's see here, we have our, um, let's just try our clovers here. Okay, so you see when I slid that in, that didn't take up the whole, that didn't take up the whole window like before, sometimes we slid it in and it just replaced the picture in the background. So this one, it looks like we're gonna have to really um, take this and slide and blow this up. Okay, so make it as big as the screen there and there. It's now it finally kind of dropped in there. Okay, so that's okay. It's not like wowing me. It may be kind of hard to see. So let's just try this one. And again, this is a pretty tiny one. Sometimes I just kind of play around with it and see. Um, this is going to be, that's too grainy, so that doesn't really work. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the little trash can up here and delete that. Okay, so let's um, let's try this other clover one. Maybe this is going to be better. So I kind of like that one. That's kind of fun. So we're going to say, um, you know, celebrate your road to or celebrate. Uh, let's what did we say about March? March madness. March into spring. March March forward. Um, celebrate your um, I want to say celebrate your success. And and march on. Something you know really clever like that. <laughs> um, so there you have it. Um, and again, you'll see that I have my white logo there. Maybe I think I probably need to have the white logo with the dark background. Um, but what I can do is I can see how the clear logo does. Where's my clear logo? Okay, I can't find my clear logo. But now, you know, you, you have the general idea there. Um, 
so again, it's like you have the same general template, you might want to just switch out the photo, you've got the thing there. So like if you're doing like thank yous for a Facebook party, that's something really easy where you can um, go ahead and just redo, like copy it and change the text, copy it, change the text or, or change the background. So um, we'll just go real quick. I don't want to, um, let me just, I'm going to sh stop sharing for just a second. And so I can see you guys. Okay. So, sorry, there are things. That, so there, oh, let me get to my questions here. Okay. Because I can't see your questions when I'm sharing. So, um, yes, Canva is free. There are certain um, things that the, it's mainly the magic resize. Um, and again, for my day job, I, I use a lot for that. So that's where I got the magic resize. That was important for me because I'm always having to change an ad to a different size. We don't really change the ad for the, for the law firm I work with. It's just like, you know, so it was worth it for that. Um, but you don't have to pay for Canva. Um, and, and as I said, it's really that magic resize where it automatically resizes the thing. Um, it's not really, if you're not really using the graphic program a lot, then it, you don't need to pay for it. I would, what I would do is play around with Canva in, in um, what you have now, to see how it works for you. Um, there's a little bit of a learning curve. And again, sometimes when you're grabbing stuff or it, it just gets a little finicky sometimes, I think that's with every program though. So just, you know, just note that it's not, it's not you. Um, are the things you just showed us part of the free version of the really, honestly, the only thing that's really different is the, um, I know that I can make a folder and I'll show you, I mean, the only thing and you don't really need to worry about it. See how I have Manko here and color sheet here. I created a folder. Um, oh, sorry. I'm not sharing my screen. <laughs> Let me go back to that. Um, and, and this is really, I mean, I have a color tree folder and I have a Manco folder. So that's one thing that you can't do on the regular version. So, I mean, you could make like a welcome folder. You could make a Facebook party folder. You could make, I mean, that's the only thing that kind of helps you organize like a filing system, but all of the stuff you can download and save to your computer. So you can use your filing system there. Um, you know, you don't, I would, I would not recommend that you need to, to pay for a, a version of this. Um, okay, let me go back so I can see the questions. And then, um, yeah, so I, I try to get my pictures ahead of time, um, just if I'm going to sit down and try to whip through a few graphics. So um, the color, I don't really do, yeah, the nail pictures are, I usually get from the nail fee group. Um, and um, yeah, the, the nail fee group, as long as, you know, they're, they're posted there for free for use. And as long as you're not removing people's watermarks or anything, if they put them on there, um, you know, they're free to, to use. Um, no, it's just a web base. So you just go to Canva, canva.com for your website or for, for the, for the graphics thing. Um, what else do you guys, um, do you have other questions? It's, it's like 9.39. I don't want to keep you on too much longer, but if there's specific things you want me to show you, um, I do have um, like two more quick points I was just going to show to you, unless there's any other questions. And again, you feel free to unmute yourself if you have a question or type in anything specific like, oh, I really want to know how to do this or how to do that. Um, so I'm going to go back to share. And okay, so we're back here. So one other thing is, so see this shared with you. That's something where um, if you create a design and you want to um, share it with somebody, okay? So um, you know, here this is, and. So you have to be in it. Okay, so say I wanted to share it with somebody. So what this does is I'm going to share it. It's almost like, um, so I'm going to, um, so this is, this is Melanie. So I can do, can edit or can view. So if I wanted to, um, they, I mean, they have to be on Canva. 
but if you wanted to make sort of a generic invitation for your teams to be able to use for a nail bar, you could basically set up the template and they could go in and just change the information. So that's how you can share and it's just going to send them the that one file. Okay, so it's not like they're going to have access to your whole gallery. So I'm just going to send this and um, so that means when Melanie gets this, she can edit it um, because I'm giving her the ability to edit it. Otherwise, she could just view it. If it's something that she, I didn't want her to change, she could just view it, download it, and do whatever with it. Um, or maybe she wanted, maybe she wanted, I would send it to her without the True Brilliance logo on it because she wants to put her, her team logo on it. Okay, so that would be a reason why I would send it to her generically then she can edit it, she can do what she wants with it, okay? So that's how you can share with people on your team if they are also on Canva, okay? And then, um, then the other thing, so see this, the order prints. So I'll um, go back home, where's my... where it is kind of hard because some of the things do get a little you know you end up having a lot in there and you're trying to search for them but like okay so here is this is my 2018 card okay there we all are edit um so i could hit order prints right from here and um you know it's I can go through the print process and right from here. So if I wanted to formally print something, like again, if you're doing like a business card or like a postcard, um, you can print directly, you know, sort of like this to print, but you're, you know, you're kind of just going right from here if you, if you design something. Again, I always like to um, download it. You know, that first welcome picture that I did, um, we, did it, we designed it, and then I kind of opened up the real picture of it once I downloaded it and kind of looked at it again. You always kind of, before you print anything, make sure you kind of look at it again, make sure you, it looks right, um, make sure everything looks readable, make sure everything is, you know, spelled properly, all that kind of good stuff. And, um, you know, if you're going to actually go to press with it, because otherwise, you know, if you do your just a, a graphic thing, um, it's fine and you can, you know, you can always go back and edit it. Um, yeah, I think you can share right to social media. I, um, I always just like to, I don't know, I like to say to my computer, <laughs> um, because sometimes I'm doing things ahead of time. It's not like I'm always going to just automatically load it up. And, um, so I like to save it to my computer. So I have it as a reference later also, and, um, I can organize that or I can then schedule it for, Again, I'm going to be on the cruise on March 1st, so I can schedule my welcome posts and my celebration posts for my for my True Brilliance group before I leave, and I can schedule it, and it'll pop up on March 1st, and everyone's going to look like I'm on top of things. <laughs> I'll smoke and mirrors, ladies. <laughs> so, um, internet went out beginning. I missed the part. Oh, so JPEG, um, JPEG, and so JPG is a JPEG. Um, it's just a type of um, image file. Um, ping, PNG is the same thing. Um, and you can really use them interchangeably um, for your graphics. And, and you just want that file. You, want, you need an image file to load it to Facebook. You can't. If you load a PDF, it's, that's a document. It's not an image. So you want either JPEG or a ping file when you're, when you're loading your things. Um, And yeah, you can do you can do JPEG or PNG. And oh, um, you, there is you can get Canva. I have Canva on my phone. Um, I am an old lady though. I have a hard time. I can do like word swag on my phone because it's more that's just like kind of like typing and stuff. For me to do Canva on my phone, I have a hard time. I, I mean, I'm going to bring it up on my phone right here. 
just so you guys can see. I just because you you could see I was like kind of grabbing the text and all that kind of stuff. It's just it can get kind of um, it can get a little so um, so here it is again on my phone. I'm gonna hit your my designs so you can see. You know, there's my little designs that I just you know that you've just seen like the February designs. Um, like you, there's the little shamrock one that we just created so it's there um i really i just personally don't do that much on my phone you can you can do stuff on your phone um i just think it's going to probably be a little bit harder um just to to manage um but some people do everything off their phone um i'm 50 i'm having to wear readers <laughs> sometimes it's a little challenging so i like a bigger screen in my mouth and that's also what I'm used to just from my work. Um, so, uh, but yeah, you can, you can do it on your phone. Um, and word swag is another thing that you can do with just, it's usually like an image and you can just throw words on it and make it pretty. So that's another quick and easy kind of graphic tool. But Canva's great. Again, if you're um, doing more Facebook parties, you want to make a pretty graphic and thank your, um, thank your guests. Um, again, you can just use different images um in that background and still use the same text thank you thank you thank you <laughs> throw a different image in the background make it look different and you know you guys are stepping it up but that way you know again even popping that on um in a in a text or in a um i mean a text message sending a pretty little thank you graphic to you know someone you met at a party and and they ordered that that's a really nice little you know touch um with the person um as a, as a nice little customer service thing. So, you know, keep that in mind too. You could do that as a graphic, like, hey, spring just launched, you know, um, do a little graphic for that. Pop that in, you know, a group text to some of your customers or on your VIP group or in a group text to them. Um, so it's just a, a way to kind of add, you know, some personal touch to, to what you're doing. Because again, an image, um, people don't always read all the words, but they'll tend to read, you know, a picture says a thousand words, right? Or <laughs> something like that. So um, it could be a quick way to just kind of toss it out there. Um, do you guys, was this, was this helpful? Was it too hard to follow? Um, did I move too quickly for you guys or you feel like you got some, some good information from it? Um, I will go ahead and post the recording. And if you have follow-up questions, please let me know. Um, and if you're like, oh my gosh, I tried to do this, Julie, like how are you doing this or how are you doing that? um you know again post your question or whatever or reach out i'm happy to help you and um you know don't let this like consume you um if you want to get graphics done like literally you can probably pay like a 12 year old on your street to do them really quickly um so don't let it you know slow you down in that manner but um again um it seems like Facebook and you know they're always changing like their algorithms and things like that and one thing we do definitely know is that they don't like to see the same graphics over and over and over again so when we can kind of create a unique graphic um, for ourselves that you know again or we can share it with our team but as long as it's not like 40,000 stylists are posting the same graphic you know in the same nanosecond Facebook is like whoa what's going on um, Facebook's not you know, for business, it's for um, you know, communication and things like that. So um, that's another way to, to just kind of make yourself unique and, and stand out in that sense. So um, I don't want to take up any more of your time though. Um, again, happy to do follow-up questions with any of you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And, um, you know, we're going to be doing, if you guys have suggestions for future trainings um, that you want, please also suggest that to your upline presidential founder or presidential council member. and let us know you know we're here to um help you guys we want you to be successful with your businesses and hopefully you guys got your spring bundles today because they're looking fabulous and um they will be on sale through monday at three central and um but again gorgeous spring shades and there's so many people that are you know going to be going away for spring break they're going to want to get their hands on spring as soon sooner rather than later so it'll be great to get them in your hands early so 
Um, thank you guys. Have a great, great night. If you have any other questions, let me know. And I appreciate you joining me tonight. And you have a fantastic night.